Blessings and welcome back to Expressions of Faith. I am so glad you are joining me today. And for all my new subscribers, thank you so much for joining the Expressions of Faith family. I am so glad to have you guys here. And to all of you, thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel. It means the world to me. Today, I am using a printable set from Illustrated Faith's print and phrase shop called Stubborn Hope. And it's designed by Shama Klingerman. And the scriptures that it's based on are Psalm 131.3, Romans 12.12, 12, Romans 15.15, 15, and Psalm 71, verse 5. And I'm going to read those scriptures to you guys right now. Psalm 131.3 reads, Israel, put your hope in the Lord, both now and and forevermore. And Romans 12, 12 reads, Rejoice and exult in hope. Be steadfast and patient in suffering and tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Romans chapter 15, verse 13 reads, May the God of your hope so fill you with all joy and peace in believing through the experience of your faith that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound and be overflowing, bubbling over with hope. And the last one is Psalm 71, verse 5. For you are my hope, O Lord God. You are my trust from my youth and the source of my confidence. Amen. Amen to God's word. I just want to hop on real quick. I have really missed you guys. I miss doing YouTube videos. But I'm going to slowly make my way back in. And I had to make myself do this video today because God is so faithful. And I wanted to just encourage you guys to Stand on God's promises because they will come to pass. 18 years ago, God gave me a promise. And I've been patiently, faithfully standing on that promise year after year after year after year. Never ever give it up on God because I know that the one who promised me is faithful. He is faithful, y'all. And he has fulfilled that promise that he gave me 18 years ago. He fulfilled it. And I'm telling you, even though I knew he was going to fulfill it, it took me by surprise, y'all. And I am so, I am so overwhelmed and in awe of him. And it is nothing like seeing God's word come to pass. It is nothing like it. It is nothing like it. Especially when it's something that you pray and fasted for and prayed for and interceded for and hoped for. Stubborn hope. Because no matter what it looked like, I had that stubborn hope that wouldn't give up, that wouldn't stop waiting. And you guys, God is faithful to his word. So I want to encourage you. I don't care if it was 40 years ago that God promised you something. I don't care. Because sometimes the devil will make us think that if God promised, we, we think, God spoke to us and he promised us something, whether through his written word or his spoken word, <laughs> because God still speaks. Whether it's through his written word or his spoken word, the devil will try to make us think if it don't come to pass quickly that the word was not from God. But honey, God gave men and women in the Bible promises that it took years. I think when he gave the promise to Abraham that he was going to have and Sarah was going to have a son. I think it was 24 or 25 years before 
Sarah gave birth to Isaac. All those years, they believed the promise of God and God accounted it to him for righteousness, as righteousness, because they believed God for the impossible. It doesn't matter how long it takes God to fulfill his promise. If he spoke it, shall he not fulfill it? So I just wanted to come on and encourage you guys. Wait on the Lord. Wait on him. I don't care how long it takes. For he is not a man that he should lie or the son of man that he shall repent. If he said it, he's going to make good on it. Stand on his promises. Because they will come to pass. So I want to just encourage you guys and just share that my joy <laughs> that I'm feeling today for the promise God has fulfilled to me. I am so full of thanksgiving and gratefulness and overwhelming gratitude to the Lord. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If this video was a blessing to you, please give it a thumbs up. Click that notification bell so you will not miss one of my videos because I don't know how when I will be uploading another one. Hopefully, it'll be a couple of days. I don't know. I, I'm feeling better. So, maybe uh, maybe I'm back. I'm getting back on track. We'll see. But anyway, remember you guys, it's all about Jesus. It's all about Him. Thanks again for watching. I love you. Enjoy the rest of the video and stay blessed.